Expect to see a good number of backups going forward as we are back and underway here in preseason week two. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. A first carry for Samaj P. Ryan. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. You need your wide receivers as blockers. Sometimes they get a hold. The big runs are often a result of what they do on the perimeter. In this case, got caught holding, and this one will come back. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. And that's incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays. He's got it at the 15. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great effort there. 48 yards. And the Eagles are able to cut into that deficit. Elliott Good with a PAT, and they'll cut the lead to 21-7. A drive that time. Six plays, and it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead. Just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side, but this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. 
you could say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. Here's second and eight. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. He's got a man complete. Touchdown. A great play there. 78 yards. And the Black Knights take a three-touchdown lead. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. And now Sean McDermott's made the call. They'll go for two. They'll look to throw. It's complete, and he is not going to get in there. He stops short of the goal line, and the lead is going to stay right where it is. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us, because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. The risk reward of the onside kick when you don't get it, the risk comes out to play and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them and field position leads you to that type of play calling and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. To throw on second down, Gilmore. And incomplete on the deep ball. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He'll drop this underneath for Gamewell. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches. And they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Back to throw again. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. It was Vaughn Miller who shot in there to get him down. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I can dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. Well, partner, given where that drive started, that's an excellent job defensively to force them into fourth down. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will move the deficit from 20 down to 17. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL... He's got a man complete. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Looking to throw. Fowler flushed out right. 
And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Hadn't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried to run through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. And all this is taken in one-handed. What a catch. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You're watching preseason football on EA Sports. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Back to throw. Fowler. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. We saw so much of this last year at the college level, but there you go, his first rushing touchdown as an NFL quarterback. And with the speed he has, we certainly know it won't be his last because that's something that aided him very well, as you mentioned, at the college level. It's something he's going to carry over. for two. Cam looking to throw. That's caught at the one. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you. Second and goal. Newton sliding out of the pocket. And it's caught. Touchdown. A great effort there. Ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. And the Black Knights add another six points to what's going to be a blowout victory. They seemingly just continue to score at will. And <laughs> As great as it's been for the offense, you got to feel for that defense down there. Yeah, I love that you use the word will because both teams came into the game with the will to win. But one team has obviously imposed its will on the other and broken them. Because what we're seeing right now, wow, that's a defense that's in tatters after what they faced in this ball game. <laughs> I think this is just going to be a function of the times we live in now. Very similar to the bat flip in baseball. Everyone's got to start to get comfortable with this. But to me, this is just rubbing it in. You got a big lead. Go ahead and take the extra point. One thing to keep in mind, though, karma's still out there. And sometimes it has a way of catching up with you. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out. Kim from the gun on third down. He finds his man complete. It's Garrett. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That one goes for eight yards. And that's a tough one for the defense because the coverage was good downfield. He was forced to work his way out of the pocket to his right, spotted his man on the sideline, and got it to him to pick up the first down on third down. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, 
you and I both know they can just run this clock out. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. 